All right, this is just a brief overview of Dragon's Dogma. Uh, all the mechanics should apply to Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, this is for newbies, people who haven't played this game before. Um, I was watching uh, some content online and uh, they were cycling through shit and uh, playing this game and uh, their their knowledge just was non-existent and it was painful to watch so I decided to uh, make a brief video probably going to last about 5-10 minutes depends on if I run around walk around but uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, two jars behind me. One of them's water, one of them's oil. You need a flask that you can buy from a vendor, a uh, store shopkeep, and you can use it to fill it. You can also swing your weapon at them and destroy them. Um, and therefore, you don't get the benefit of a uh, filled vial of water or filled vial of oil. Okay, plants, certain herbs, herbs that you can get. Uh, healing properties, um, negate poison, stamina, uh, things like that. That's what this is for. Just open your inventory menu, click it, and you're good to go. Lantern, I think everyone knows what that's for, right? Um, remember how I was telling you about vials of oil? That's how you fill your damn lantern. If you don't have any oil in your inventory and your lantern runs out of uh, oil, you're in the dark. <laughs> okay, you can pretty much swing your sword and hit everything in this game. To include people on the on the floor, um, affects your rep, I guess. Um, you know, if you beat them silly uh, or just regular NPCs, uh, you'll get this uh, weird kind of tone. And uh, I don't know. I guess it pisses them off. Okay, all these items that you can find rolling around, uh, blank scrolls, um, let me go ahead and run here, Let's see if I can find some more stuff, uh, basically everything that is going to go into either this category, um, this category and this category. All that crap that you're picking up as a noob, save it. Just put it in your damn bank. Don't keep it in your inventory. Stick it in the bank. You talk to the innkeep, you go to your bank, you transfer all the shit into the bank. Keep it. It's for item upgrades. All your armor, all your weapons, you know, it's, it's going to improve it. And I believe there's like four or five levels that you can upgrade a piece of equipment depending on uh, how decent it is. Um, different upgrades are going to cost different things. Don't sell it. Don't throw it away, you know, unless you really don't need it. Uh, definitely at the beginning, hold on to everything that you pick up. It's one of those games. Uh, potions and everything like that, that's kind of self-explanatory. Hey. Like I said, everything's destructible. And a lot of times you're going to find stuff in the, uh, in the jars. But again, like I said, you can get water, oil out of these vats or... 
you can destroy him, and now he can't get the water. Uh, falling depth. Yes, it exists. You can slide down the rock face if it's not vertical. Like that. Like it did retrieving the, uh, the chest. Water. Uh, fish. Every, everything that you can harvest um, has a shelf life. It's going to spoil. Um, rotten, there are certain things that you can make with uh, rotten, I believe, you know, the poison and stuff. You try and swim, that's another thing that will happen. Uh, drenched when you're wet like this. It's an effect. It will also put out fires if you're on fire. You know, so if you got a goblin or something like that, threw something at you, lit you on fire, find water or use a flask and douse yourself. Uh, they also have containers that you can buy when you get the, uh, the food you know, the perishables to a certain state, you can stick it in a container and it'll be permanently in that state. So if you use things for crafting and you're not going to be around for a while, uh, stuff like that. Or edibles. Uh, an example of that is this right here, this uh, Scrag of Beast. Um, a bit of stamina. You let this spoil a little bit, let it go sour, and you'll you'll get a better buff uh, for your stamina when you run out. The game is highly, highly stamina dependent. Um, yeah, you can sprint around, run around, and then you're just going to drain. Uh, you do this in combat, and you won't be able to use your uh, primary skills, your secondary skills, your blocks, and things like that. Uh, also affects grappling. So if you want to grapple onto something and climb it, you know, large boss monster and whatnot, uh, that's going to take stamina. Like I said, save everything. Uh, when you get pawns, you're going to have some directions that you can give them. You know, where you can have them. I don't have any pawns right now because I just actually loaded this game. Um, saved it. Uh, this is on Steam, so it's in the uh, Steam user folder. Uh, you can find out online where your save games are. Uh, you only get one copy of your save game. You can back up all those files in that um, that saved directory that's in the, uh, the, the Steam users and essentially make multiple versions. Like if I wanted a, um, don't want to play a fighter, I want to play a, um, you know, a mage. And I didn't, I didn't want to cross over, you know, I want just to start fresh. If this character has progressed, let's say, three quarters of the way through the game, I can back up those files, make a fresh save, play a different character, and come back to this just by swapping the folder. Uh, like I was saying with the pawns, you have uh, pawn commands. You know, go, follow, stuff like that. Those are also pertinent. Also, when uh, you're engaging with your pawns keep them alive um, make sure that their inventory is going to have everything that they need also likewise if they have it in their inventory and you're lacking something uh say stamina is a big one that they'll always throw at you if they got a stamina buff in their inventory and you run out of stamina during a fight they will come over and give you their their remedy, their herb, their potion, and uh, buff you up. 
so it's always a good idea to keep that handy and keep those guys stocked. Also be aware that uh, the two ponds that you uh, that you hire that are other players' ponds, um, they don't level. Likewise, their gear is pretty much set to whatever gear you get with them, unless you give them new shit. Uh, if you give them new gear, you'll be able to upgrade that gear as they go along, but they'll lose their old gear, and it will send that back to the original owner of the pond. Uh, your pond, don't neglect your pond and their gear and their stats and their abilities. Your pawns are like a uh, life preserver. They're there to help you. Um, somebody else that has played, uh, let's say like a month and has advanced, you know, a bit, you might actually want to hire their pawn because they're going to have all the knowledge that that player had up to that point where they uh, put them on the uh, market. Likewise, you're just going to do the same thing. But once you hire them, what you see is what you get. The only thing that you can do is give them new gear. You know, if they got totally crap gear, and you can upgrade that. But as far as the levels, the uh, the skills, the spells, and all that kind of crap, if you got if you got a guy that you've outgrown, you need to dump him and get a new one. Okay. Third thing I wanted to cover real quick, if I have it's enough cash, so much the village I'll be with able to uh, show you guys it anyway. Okay, as far as gearing goes, fighters, you got a sword, don't forget the damn shield, get the shield also, upgrade two things, two items, um, the cap, it's one item. Torso, you got two. You got the undershirt, and then you got the actual physical armor. So I've got all these shirts right here, but if I go down far enough, I start getting in the chest guards. Okay, that's different. So you might have one of these shirts that's really good, that gives you decent stats, um, or that you've buffed up, you know, that you can wear throughout your entire playthrough if you wanted to, you just upgrade your uh, chest piece. So be aware of that. Uh, the gloves are gloves. I mean, it's it's either wrists or gauntlets. Uh, the legs, it's it's going to be the same thing. you got two pieces. you got you got leg wear and you got footwear. All right? Two separate things, two separate stats. And depending on your build that you get, you can see how the uh, the magic stats and stuff like that in the lower uh, right-hand corner are, you know, going through different things. Um, also, the look is going to change, so you're, you know, you're going to get a, a different look with all that. Uh, cloaks, capes, and stuff like that. Total preference. I just go after, you know, what what gives me. The, the, the most buffs that I can get, you know, and what type of buffs. So I might have like two or three cloaks, and depending on what, I, what I'm what i going to go fight, I might change it out, swap it up. Um, everything that I don't use, I'm going to throw in, my, in the bank. Uh, jewelry, uh, same thing. You know, you'll have rings that are for sale that, that give you certain buffs and stuff like that. Uh, all this gear that's in there always welcome here. also applies to your pawn, you know, freely. Likewise, if you gave equipment to um, your hirelings, you know, the guys that you went into the abyss and, you know, there are other players' pawns. That you'll be able to upgrade the equipment. Hmm? Micah's greetings upon you. And that's done in the city, you know, later on. What can it's, I do it's you for? Pretty close though. Okay, resting. I always have cash for resting. 
It's where you're doing everything. Hand store items. This is why I'm talking about. Okay, you got your deposit, your withdraw, and your combine, your change equipment. Combine is where you go in and you mix and match shit. So if I want to make potions, you know, I would I would come in here if it's in my in my vault or in my bank and go ahead and throw them together. Different combinations of uh, different items will give you different potions. Uh, some potions are meant for drinking, others are for crafting. As you will. What can I do you for? Take care now. That, for the most part, bounty board. Don't forget the bounty board. Uh, the other thing this game, gear based. Keep your shit leveled up. Get the latest and greatest. It matters in a fight. Um, when you've got your level's latest and greatest, you need to start upgrading it. You upgrade it, you know, either at the armor or at the weaponsmith. Um, there is also uh, special items that you can get from certain vendors and stuff like that. Some of them are traveling. Some of them are in, uh, you know, in the city. Some of them are in camps, things like that. Uh, just look it up online. And that pretty much covers everything that I wanted to cover so that if you ever make a video and I'm watching it, it's not going to be painful to watch you play your video or play the game during your video. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one.